Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. If you are about to start supplements with your child who's on the autism spectrum, take my word of advice, don't start everything at once. If you've got a list of supplements from your doctor, whether it's three items, five, ten, my recommendation and my clinical experience and years in practice is start one thing at a time, particularly in the beginning of any type of biomedical program. The reason is many kids on the autism spectrum are very, very sensitive physically, mentally, emotionally to therapy. And if you start everything at one time, you're not necessarily going to know what's working or what may be causing a problem. Not that we're talking about serious side effects from supplement therapy, but you want to be able to know how well they're adjusting, how well they're progressing to a particular therapy. Now what's going to happen over time is your kids are going to be on multiple things. They'll be doing dietary intervention, they'll be on supplement therapy, maybe they're treating for yeast, maybe you're doing methyl B12, whatever it may be. But in the beginning, I always try to isolate down and start one thing at a time. B12, for example, methyl B12 injections is a perfect example of this. We like to start it for at least five to six weeks, ideally six weeks, without starting any other therapy. If I'm going to start supplements and I have five or six things, I will typically tell the parent, and I'll give them a list, of where I want them to start. And it may, may start, at, start at the top of the list and work our way down. Typically introducing a new supplement every one to two days. Because I want to know, and I want them to feed, you know, give me feedback on positive changes as well as negative changes. I also have parents get a little notebook calendar where they can mark down what days they started a therapy or a supplement and make a little note as to what they observed. So again, if you rush into it and you start too many things at once and your child has a negative reaction, you're not going to know what did it. So just be patient, start one thing at a time, and you will have much greater success long term in doing supplement therapy and other biomedical therapy for your child. Thanks.